Now, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to digitize a vector graphic. Once you've loaded it into your software, you just need to go over to this tool here, which is Convert Vectors to Embroideries. Left click on it. It tells you here that it's going from graphics mode to embroidery mode. And there it is done. It was that quick. If I click off it, you can see the stitches there or I can go to artistic view. Now the artistic view icon is not a screen anymore, it's just an icon up here. You left click on it and it changes to artistic view on the same screen. And then if you want to change back to stitch view, just go back up to the artistic view and left click on it again and it will go back to the stitch view. So that's a lot quicker too. Now I'm going to close that and show you, I'm not going to save it, no. I'm going to get a new design. I'm going to go back to the art canvas and load a JPEG again. Let's just load that same one. Import it. This is the JPEG made up of pixels. Pressure enter button. It's on screen now. Now to go to digitize this you don't have to do anything here. There's no um, icon for artwork preparation. That's going to come in a little minute. Just go straight to your embroidery canvas and you'll notice that your magic wand and your auto digitizer tools are available even though you haven't done any artwork preparation. You've got the choice of using either and if you want to know what each of them do go back and watch my auto digitizing and magic wand videos. But I'm just going to auto digitize now so I'm going to left click on the auto digitizing tool come over and I've got my same little um, red circle with a line through it that is in version 5 come over to the graphic left click and instead of having done the artwork preparation on the art canvas the image preparation box opens here and there's only one before in um, version 5 we had two we had one for outline artwork preparation and ordinary artwork preparation now we've just got the one box with all the tools combined so it's much simpler we don't have to think which one we need once you're happy with this um, we can click OK and at, you can see that down here that it's processing the picture processing image and we'll have it as a stitch object in just a moment okay before that though we get our little screen allowing us to um, the image properties screen telling us uh, allowing us to choose whether we want our fills in step um, satin etc whether we want the outlines in satin double run or satin lines etc and we can do our omitted colors here so we can omit the white color if we wish um, we can add outlines here if we wish um, and we can add a border here if we wish so let's just see what that does because that because that's new and go okay so it's processing that now generating the stitches. We can see the little graph coming along. See how much longer it takes to do a JPEG or bitmap than it does to do a vector graphic. Nearly there. It's actually filled the graph so we can't be far away. I might just pause the video. There, it's done it now. It took quite some time. So you can see it's a lot easier to do um, a vector graphic than it is a bitmap or JPEG. So you'll be looking for those vector graphics in future, I'm sure, to use in your embroidery. Now I'll just click off it so that you can actually see the stitch data. And if we go to the art, um, artistic view, there we are. Now if you like that video and you want to make sure you don't miss any, particularly all the new features in version 6, then subscribe to my videos and um, I've got lots more to show you in the next few weeks. Thank you very much.